Good morning everyone. I am not looking the best, not feeling the best. Um, it has not been a great day today so far, but we are hoping to change things up. I mean, I started great and things went south. Anyway, I am on my way to get my hair and makeup done because I have a wedding today. Um, it's my sister's best friend wedding and my sister is a bridesmaid. So me and my other sister are gonna go to wedding. Um, we were supposed to go as a family, but unfortunately my mom got sick last night. So um, yesterday we went out shopping together and then for lunch she had shrimp. What we're assuming is that she got food poisoning from the shrimp. So this morning I woke up, went on my walk, had a fantastic walk. I was like, let me just get in my steps um, and get that out of the way. And then when I got back from my walk, uh, my mom is like, I'm not feeling well. Um, and I left out, I was like, okay, if you want, we can go to urgent care. But she said, no, I'm fine, I'm just gonna lay down and hopefully I'll feel better. But, um, I mean, she's feeling better, but she's not like 100% there. I ordered from ASOS. I put it orders a few dresses because my cousin's wedding is in a few weeks as well. So I ordered one, three dresses, and then another order of two dresses. So the second order apparently didn't go through. They were both supposed to arrive today, but obviously because the second order didn't go through and that in that order was one of the dresses that I was gonna wear today, um, so it's not gonna get here until Monday. So that's fantastic In this order that arrived <laughs> there is potential dresses that I could wear tonight, but the quality of dress is not great It does not sit Fantastic. It's not one of those dresses that will be wearing it and be very comfortable It is a little bit of a revealing dress and if you know me, you know I'm not very comfortable when the upper body section is a little bit too revealing so I don't know if I should wear that dress or just wear one of my old dresses. Now I'm going to get my hair and makeup done and I have to do something neutral because I don't still know what am I wearing. Um, so I'm gonna come back home. When my hair and makeup are done, I'll wear the dress again and I'm gonna see how I feel in it. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful dress and I have the perfect matching shoes and bag to go with it. Um, it's like a light blue color, which is again like a little bit out of my comfort zone and like I'm not very comfortable wearing like that color But I like the design of the dress. So I'm like, let me just do my hair and makeup and uh, I'll come home wear the dress and see if I like it with the hair and makeup if it's still a no then I'll just wear one of my old dresses I was gonna go get my nails done but then I decided I want to do something like fallish and it was not gonna go with my outfit today so I'm not even getting my nails done I mean it does not look that bad it's grown out but these are the nails that I had ever since Armenia like literally I got them done last day when I was living in Armenia so when they're a neutral color at this level with any outfit that I wear. I am gonna go and hopefully the next time that I see you I'll look a lot more presentable. I am not joking when I tell you I feel like I'm gonna melt in 2.5 seconds because the car was under the sun and the leather is so warm my skin is burning when I touch any part of the car. But anyway, okay, we get it. We get it, we're not backing up. Can I back up now? But I am done. I am leaving Anya's salon. I did my hair and makeup and it legitimately came out exactly the way that I showed her the picture. This is such a bad angle of my hair and makeup. My hair is still in pin. Um, I still have to brush it out, but because I'm not going um, to the wedding now like I'm gonna head out in like a few hours um, So that's why I was like let, let me just brush it out my hair at home But basically we used my extension we curled it. I don't have lipstick That's why it looks a little bit weird because I'm gonna go grab coffee now 
So if I just don't put lipstick, I'll put my lipstick at home because I still don't know what am I wearing depending on the dress that I would go for, which I think I'm gonna wear my dress with feathers underneath because I just feel like it's more appropriate. I don't know why. Good morning everyone it is two days three days after the wedding i didn't get to show you guys what i was wearing what what i ended up wearing i didn't try on any of the clothes sorry my dress is a little bit tight um so yeah i didn't get to try on any of the dresses with you guys but at one point in this vlog i will go ahead and try on those items with you i am actually still waiting for my second asos package to arrive i have not yet received it it was supposed to be here this morning but it is not here yet um so yeah at one point in this vlog i will try on the items but i ended up wearing my pink dress um and i just absolutely love it that was the best choice to go with i absolutely love that dress even though as i mentioned it is not the best quality but it's a beautiful dress like the fabric the style the design love everything about it it's just i wish the fabric that like the embellishment of the dress was a little bit more sturdy besides that it's a beautiful beautiful dress the wedding was amazing obviously i didn't even vlog but if you follow me on my instagram i posted a lot on my instagram um and probably you guys already have seen it but it was an amazing wedding we came home very 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 light like i think it was like four in the morning 3 34 in the morning um, but we had a blast this was a beautiful wedding she was she looked absolutely stunning um and then the next day was a recovery mode and then sunday was like family day we went to family lunch and today is monday it is actually not the morning it is literally late afternoon it's around 2 p.m not late afternoon but it is afternoon um it's 2 30 actually and i am getting ready to head out i want to go to world market and see what they have for fall i need a new flower arrangement for fall i have no idea what i want like there's not a specific idea in my head that i say i want this i'm actually going to go on pinterest and search for like inspos so i know what am i looking for when i go into the stores um as i mentioned i have nothing in mind but i want um gold undertone brown undertone white obviously that's the theme of our house and then when i come back i actually want to rearrange few bits and bobs i want to change the coffee table um, the side tables place and then if you guys remember a few months ago I bought this like a very um, Victorian looking um, stand I want to move that to the corner of the living room so like few changes I don't know if I'll be able to do that today oh I got my nails done as well I totally forgot to show you guys we went very fallish um, if the camera focuses on it hello there we go it's like a brown design i absolutely love 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 it um but yeah um i just need to change things up if i am able to do that today great if not then tomorrow morning i'll do it uh, because i think in the afternoon my cousins are coming over so i don't know if i'll have enough time to change things up today Like the day before, you're like a stone on my pillow. I don't make a sound when I shut the door. You don't have to wake up yet. We can spend all day. Your favorite music gone all the way 
I got this like white different bunches of like dried flowers I still don't know if I'm gonna go with white or um, I bought this orange ones too but these are a little bit too orange for my liking but we'll see I like these ones for me this one this one and these ones but I don't like the two orange ones so maybe I'll just take those out I don't like this one either but we'll see we'll play around with them i got this um soap it's eucalyptus and mint um to go with that matching i got this candle it smells absolutely amazing and just like the shape of it was cute um surprisingly we didn't have like lemon squeezer i got the lemon squeezer so this candle we all know i'm a bougie candle girl but these ones smelled really really good and the color of it was not too orange i just thought if i use this i can go with this it will be cute then i got this candle which none of them are like this one is a little bit um folly but this one is not folly at all but it smelled really really good so i got this and it's like a three week candle and it's pretty big i don't like that it has branding on it but well it is what it is and then these are the candles and flowers and then i got this risotto never had it before but i love anything with um a truffle so got that tim tam absolutely amazing delicious and if you go to world market and you don't get this um rice crackers you're genuinely missing out they're the most delicious thing ever and here is our like decor from last year the pumpkins and stuff the garland like the candle holders and stuff um and i have our um what do you call it table runner here as well so now i am going to attempt to organize this flowers and see what can i come up with totally forgot to show you guys this wine that i got as well here is the wine that i got it's called sofia i don't think i've ever had it it does not sound familiar but I always like to give um, new roses a try and since it is still 100 degrees outside it is still rosé season here so um, we'll probably give this a try this week looking up from my window sun's coming up like the day before you're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door so just finished up like changing things up and here is what we have currently it is a little bit colorful for my liking but it's just embracing the fall colors um what i had in mind was basically like wild um um like leaves and stuff so here is arrangement they don't look similar they're semi-similar the two of them but they're not exactly the same so i used the bunches of um the short ones that i got from um, world market and a few of the tall ones like the white ones are from the uh, tall uh, bunches so here is how it is looking and i used the same pumpkins as last year so i got these pumpkins um they were just white and i bedazzled them last year like i painted one of them gold and white and this one i added studs on top of it this one i added foil and i added this candle let's put it this way because i don't like when the label is showing it smells absolutely amazing already it's not fallish but it smells beautiful and here is the other arrangement um the table runner is tahari but it's from previous years and then i moved um that renaissance looking stand over there instead of the if you guys remember we had our um what do you call it lamp there and a side table i moved this one here and i put the h and vase there um we um this like i don't know what these are called like the branches we had them for a bajillion years they don't need water i think they're fake if i'm not mistaken my cousin got it for us so they're there and they're looking very very cute for entryway this is the arrangement we have pumpkins i actually used that um orange color candle here and then here is the arrangement and i think it looks so cute it's like wild flowerish um again i used a few of the bunches i added a little bit of pampas which i don't know if i'm a fan of it i like the color of it but they shed a lot so literally we can't move this and this vase is from anthropology for this table i kept it very very simple by the way i moved the, the um mirror there that's one thing i love about this mirror um why is this candle so wonky i have to put tape underneath 
for it to stand i am not crazy about the candle mixture with the candle holder and this wooden thing but to be honest with you we had nowhere to put this wood and i kind of like the candles so i know it's not the best look for this area but i think it kind of blends you'll see the most change here so i moved the um what do you call it, the lamp here, which I kind of think it looks really, really nice in here. It's just, I don't know. It adds a very cute element. Here is the coffee table decor. Um, just used basically whatever we had, and I added this pumpkin-looking uh, tea light candle holder here. The um, fireplace is off. It's just a fire of it because it's extremely hot. As I said, it's like 100 degree. And then I added this side table here, again, used whatever we had, the coasters, the marble tray, and I added the other pumpkin um, tea candle holder here with this bunch of, these are like flowers that we had from last year, I just added it to this face, and it just looks cute, these ones shed a lot as well, so I don't know how long I'm going to keep them there, hopefully they're not going to go on my last nerve. <laughs> and then for fireplace, here is the decor of the fireplace. I bought this last year from Amazon, same as these ones. I just love the color of these, they're not too orange, they're like beige and white. And I spread them here. And here is the uh, fireplace decor for fall. I am extremely hungry, like I am starving. I haven't had anything to eat. I only had my coffee. But I have a very, very busy day today, so I'm going to quickly make something to eat and um, continue working. I have to go to Trader Joe's today. Oh, and I also have my ASOS package, so I can try on my ASOS package today with you guys, and then tomorrow I can go to um trader joe's my girlfriends is coming girlfriends are coming over tomorrow so we're gonna do a girls wine night so i need few bits and bobs for that but let me quickly eat something and then we'll try on the asos items together this is dress number one and i had so many high hopes for this dress like from the look of it it's beautiful print but why is the proportion and the sizing of this dress so off like do you guys see how loose this is like it needs to be closed this much and then like the back seats very very weird like i don't know it's like a pretty much low back kind of a situation and like the bunching here it is just not flattering this dress will be a no sadly here is dress number two i am obsessed with it love it I think it is a little bit small on me on these areas because as you guys can see it's very very see-through or i don't know if it's the fabric of it this is size 10 or 12 i think this is size 12. maybe i should order size 14 then i'm worried like the top will be big but i am obsessed with this i was gonna wear this to my um sister's friend wedding but obviously it didn't arrive in time it arrived today um but for my cousin's wedding, we, I have to have two dresses. I know we're extra like that. Um, so I can wear this for the morning ceremony and then switch into my evening dress, which I still don't know what I'm wearing. How gorgeous is this? To be honest with you, if I don't find any dress, I'm going to wear this at the evening. Oh, by the way, it's like a, it's, it has a thing here. Like it has a cut here that if you want, you can just wear it separately. But personally, we know I don't like showing that much stomach so i'm just gonna let it like peek through just a little bit but not fully but if you want it you can wear it like as a crop top and a skirt i thought they're gonna come separate but they're attached to each other um but yeah here is this dress that this could be a potential for the morning time if i figure out what to wear underneath for it to not be so see-through this is the blue dress that i was telling you guys that i love it love the design of it love the fabric of it but do you guys see how it sits like all these bunches on the side it just is not looking great but i love this dress it is an open back dress so you can't wear a bra or unless like your bra straps are super thin uh, but like do you see how it sits here as well it's just is not a flattering dress whatsoever part of me wants to take this dress to a tailor to see if they can figure something out about this because i love this dress but another part of me is like this dress is not cheap maybe 
it is not worth it for me to go through the trouble of taking it to the tailor and probably it's gonna cost arm and a leg because obviously when the fabric has like embellishments on it it's more expensive to alter it and all of that um but yeah here's a dress that i love but unfortunately because of how it sits on me i have to return it this dress had so much potential but unfortunately it just doesn't look good on me i don't know maybe it's a little bit big on me because if you look like i don't know maybe i should size down in it it's a beautiful design dress but again it's not made well to be honest with you it's actually better made than the other dresses but it just is not a flattering dress on me i like the design of it i like like how dramatic it is and usually i don't wear like puffy dresses um i like the cutout of it i just liked everything about it can you see like a color difference of me <laughs> like my stomach is so um light compared to my upper body uh but anyway i usually don't wear like dramatic dresses like these like poofy and maxi and stuff and i just thought this could be a potential but absolutely not this does not look good on me whatsoever good morning everyone it is a beautiful very very hot sunny day i just applied my summer friday serum because i am going to use the ice roller on my face and personally don't like to use ice roller oh my god this feels amazing it is not even rolling that hot for us <laughs> it's gonna start rolling as soon as it warms up but i just love it i just say it started rolling it was really really I just took it out of the freezer because it's really frozen but I personally don't like to use roller without anything on my face um, and very weirdly I don't use it right when I wake up I do it um, I mean I do depending on a day but uh, sometimes I do it twice a day uh, but when I wake up, like my daily schedule is waking up and then applying SPF only on my face, having my coffee and go on my walk. And I just don't think like using my ice roller is necessary for going on my morning walk. Unless I'm like actually craving the feeling of it. Because honestly, it's not comparable to anything. Like how this makes my face feel is uncomparable to anything else like that's how much i love it but today is going to be actually a very fun day my girlfriends are coming over we're going to have wine night so i'm gonna get ready i have a couple of shoes i want to unbox with you guys from amazon and one of them i have already worn two of them they're still in their packaging i have not yet even opened it so i'm gonna show you guys those shoes you guys know i'm a huge fan of amazon shoes had great experience with them i'm actually thinking of updating my amazon shoe favorites because i did one i think beginning of summer i think i need to update it just got ready for the day applying perfume it's sweet like you smell like bakery in a very nice way but i wanted to talk to you guys about this laura mercier tinted moisturizer look how nice the coverage is it is a tinted moisturizer that has spf 25 and i've been literally using this past 10 days seven eight days not ten days and i've been literally obsessed with it it's super lightweight it blends into your skin it's perfect for no makeup days obviously i have a little bit of a heavier makeup on today uh but this is the base that i have on and then i've used my duo concealer on top of it and like if i had any like spots like this one i used a little bit of concealer on top of it but it is beautiful like beautiful it's just amazing i used it on sunday was it sunday or saturday that i basically did a, like a no makeup look i only used this and uh, mascara that's it and it just evened out my skin so much if i want um this is in the shade bisque 3w1 it is just a little bit light for my face if i have like an if like i have a tan it is fading away sadly i have to start fake tanning again uh but if I want this to be a little bit more bronzy, I add my By Terry CC Serum mixed in with this. Just stunning. So I have to give this a shout out. And let me show you guys what am I wearing and then we will get into unbox the Amazon shoes, which I'm very, 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 very excited because two of them are literally designer dupe. 
I have not yet worn them. We're hoping they're gonna be a designer dupe. Dresses from Amazon. I absolutely love, love, love it. It's such a cute bohemian. They have it in different colors. They have it, I think, in white, sagey green color. It's just a beautiful, beautiful dress. And it's perfect for this time of the year. So I saw Lydia, which you all know. I am literally obsessed with her. Um, she wore these shoes. Not these ones, like the original ones. Um, on her stories. Oh my god, they're gorgeous. And I have a blue pair of Manolo Blahniks, which I absolutely love. They're beautiful shoes, but let's be real. They're a little bit uncomfortable to wear all the time. I think I've worn them a handful of maybe six, seven times because they're not the most comfortable shoes and they're obviously pretty expensive. I wanted the black version because, I don't know, I'm trying to wear a little bit more black. This does not look exactly like it, but it is very, very similar to Manolo Blahnik shoes. Let's try them on. Obviously, they're from Amazon. They were below $50, if I'm not mistaken. I'll look it up, but they weren't that expensive. I think it was $54. Um, Let's just try this on and see if it fits me. Barely. Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, this is so cute. Seems comfortable. I usually don't like closed to toe shoes because I have white feet and normally they're not the most comfortable on me. Okay, these are size nine. You guys can't see them, but these are gorgeous. Oh, they're honestly a little bit more comfortable than my original ones. I feel like they're a little bit more comfortable than my original ones. Here are the shoes. I am absolutely obsessed with them. Like, my feet are obviously wide feet. They're gonna take a little bit longer for them to break into these shoes. But these are, to be honest with you, a little bit more comfortable than the actual Manolo Blahnik ones. And the height of the heel is actually perfect. They look so chic and sophisticated. So, for sure, I'll be keeping these. While I was shopping for that one, I saw um, this pair. Basically, the flat version of the heels that I just showed you. I have my Fendi flats that are extremely uncomfortable, but I wanted a pair of simple black, and this seems like it would be very small on me. This will not fit me. What size is this? Is this a nine? Oh my god, they sent five. I was like, this is very small. There's no way this will fit me. They sent five. That's upsetting. Okay, this will not fit me for me to try it on for you guys. So I'm just gonna return this and get a bigger size. I have already obviously worn it, but here is from Amazon as well. And I absolutely love this pair of shoes. I have already worn them a few times. They're so comfortable. Um, the strap of it is super long, but you can have it like strapped up or you can just like um, have it around your ankle. I really really like this it's such a beautiful gold heel and obviously because the heel of it is so chunky it's super comfortable I tied it two different ways so I can show it to you guys um, the quality of the straps are really nice they don't fall down so here is one way I would wear it depending on your outfit and here is the other way I love these shoes they're so chic and sophisticated and super super comfortable um, the um, laces are a little bit like obviously they're like tall laces so just keep it in mind if you wrap it on your ankle it's gonna be a little bit chunky looking but honestly I personally don't mind it I think it looks cute um, but yeah absolutely love this um, heels as well they're such a pretty gold they're not bam in your face gold they're just the perfect gold tone so i'm gonna link this one for you guys as well now i'm gonna go to trader joe's i need to get a few bits and bobs for tonight still don't know which table i'm gonna set it like that i'm not gonna do it here it's just gonna be three of us i can do it here i like this marble table area it's like my favorite persian corner um we can do it here or i can do it on a big dining table but i think i'm gonna get this area a little ready because it just feels a little bit more cozy but yeah we're gonna put together like a cheese board and like snacky bits and bobs together Love. 